Victor Friday, welcome back. Last week I introduced Victor Friday, trying to start a trend where people share what Dan Victor and Want to Get Fast have taught them. Last week I shared about posture and position, and then specifically the split squat iso hold. And this week I wanted to expand on that a little bit more with a longer video. As I mentioned last week, Want to Get Fast has a Patreon channel, and I highly suggest that you subscribe to them. And on their channel, one of the very first things they talk about is posture and position. Now, with split squat isos, this is a movement that I use a lot. No matter the athlete, no matter the team, no matter the setting, I'm going to be using it. Split squats are a massive part of my programs, especially in the off season. And let's be honest, it's heavily influenced through Cal Dietz. But Dan really helped me understand kind of the reason and the purpose and then the need of why I have to be doing it. The time in life that I learned the most from Dan was during 2020. Dan and Chris Corfus would get on into these COVID Zooms, which are all available for purchase and I highly recommend. These COVID Zooms cover topics like DB Hammer, extreme isometrics, and really helped in my understanding of posture, position, and split squat. When I think of DB Hammer and the split squat, what comes to mind is in his book, the best sports training book ever, he talks about the prime anatomical position and the critical joint configuration. Or in other words, the prime is kind of that top portion or top position, and then the critical is kind of that bottom portion or bottom position. So when we think of the split squat iso hold or extreme iso, that is going to be the critical joint configuration. That's the bottom position. And if we think of like a single leg hip hike or a hip hike against the wall, that would be working our prime anatomical position. Some good quotes from the best sports training book ever by DB Hammer. The better the position and posture that we train our system to naturally be configured at, the better our ability to perform. And another one here, Isometric and dynamic studies have shown that if you get stronger at the critical joint configuration or the you know, worst position possible, your overall strength level will increase. Also in these COVID Zoom calls, Dan will mention Jay Schroeder. And I've kind of found some uh, back alley Jay Schroeder videos uh, and resources that also talk about the split squat ISO position and how important it is for sports performance. Now with split squats, it's not just about getting strong. There's a lot of neurological and performance components to them. Some various quotes from Dan about isometrics or the split squat positions. Isometric strength and being able to hold positions are fundamental to locomotion. Position and posture might be the most undercoached skill in sports training. And that comes from an article that Dan wrote, I think in 2003. Another quote from that article, your hip, height, your hip height drops in a 100 meter sprint. Your performance will drastically change in a negative way. And lastly here, the best value of isometric work in the weight room is it teaches proper position. So isometrics are the best way for motor learning. Right? That's something that Dan has said. Put them in the position, allow them to learn it, understand it. Best way for motor learning. And as I've been learning more and attending uh, more track and football consortiums, I've kind of just learned like, yeah, no, this, this all makes sense, especially when it's coming to the world of speed and performance. At a recent track football consortium in Chicago, Rob Assis talked about myelination and how through holding these positions, your nerves can kind of re-wrap themselves in a way and increase communication throughout the body and the system. Finally, on the topic of split squat isos is they really help establish attractor positions. So that kind of idea or concept of attractor positions is from Franz Bosch, somebody that Dan and Chris Corfus have talked about before. And an attractor position is really just that, that finish portion or finished position of a movement that we want to get into. So if you think about shooting a basketball, that flick of the wrist at the end, that's an attractor position or an attractor state. You could be you know, this way facing the hoop, you could be directly under it, you could be at the three point line, the foul line, uh, you could be shooting off a of one foot, two feet, but we're always gonna have that position at the end. 
And so developing these split squat ISOs are going to teach us an attractor position. Another reminder, Dan has a Patreon channel I highly suggest that you subscribe to, and I can't wait to hear, and hopefully you'll be sharing a bit about how Dan and Want to Get Fast has taught you. Thanks for watching Victor Friday.